Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. And in this video, we're looking at a brand new Longines watch with the Zulu Time SNG models. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com as a full authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive in this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout the video, if you have further questions or are looking to buy these watches, a link will be in the description down below. But guys, without further ado, let's jump into the video and take a closer look at this watch. Despite its prominence, I don't think it would be too much of a stretch to say that at least here in North America, Longines is still vastly underrated when you consider the brand's incredible history and heritage, coupled with a modern collection that still offers so much for the enthusiast market in particular. Case in point, the Longines Spirit Zulu Time that was released last year. A watch that combines a well spec true GMT movement with impressive finishing for the dollar amount, while still leaning into the brand's sporty aviation roots. The original 42mm option was pretty much best in class for around $3,000 for a true GMT movement watch, but many, myself included, Included, called for a smaller option to suit a broader range of wrists, or at least to have that option available to us. Longines recently answered that in a big way with the new Zulu Time 39mm, a watch that I think is destined for enthusiast heartthrob status. However, the fanfare surrounding the 39mm release may have overshadowed something else very interesting. New steel and gold variants for not only the new 39mm option, but the original 42mm option to go along with it, making these some of the most valuable value-packed steel and gold case watches in the world of watchmaking. And very quickly, before we jump into these watches, just to set the stage for Longines. This is a brand that in 1908 produced a pocket watch with two time zones to be tracked. Also in 1925, the original Zulu Time was the first wrist watch to feature two separate time zones. A quarter century before the 1950s where many people look when they're talking about the genesis of GMT watches. I just bring this up because the Longines Zulu Time looks back to that 1925 example. And when you're looking at Longines, they are absolutely crucial for setting the stage for what GMT watches uh, would eventually become. Starting with the area of great novelty as well as the reason for an almost $1,000 upcharge over the standard stainless steel case models, the new steel and gold Zulu Times come in with a gold bezel and crown, both of which are executed in striking 18 karat yellow gold. Along with the addition of gold as a material and aesthetic choice, the steel and gold Zulu Time also serves up a new color format highlighted by a brown ceramic bezel insert with engraved and filled indices that are off-white with a further hit of an off white tone on the color match date wheel. The overall look is warm, definitely vintage in its feel, and well executed in my opinion without feeling ostentatious or blingy, which can be a challenge with some of the integration of gold into a proposition. To position this model family against others in the industry, the closest competitor for the Zulu Time in my eyes is the Tudor Black Bay GMT family, which has offered up S&G optionality for some years now, but quickly comparing the prices for the Zulu Time S&G, it's priced around $4,200 to $4,300 depending on the strap or bracelet option with the Tudor Black Bay GMT and S&G models coming in at $4,500 on a leather strap and $5,850 on a steel and gold bracelet. While this watch is not going to feature gold accents in its bracelet, unlike its competitor in Tudor, so it is interesting to look at this price difference and to talk about this. Beyond the striking new golden hues on offer with these S&G variants, the watches are similar to their full steel counterparts. Starting with the 42 millimeter option, that broader case diameter is paired with a 49.3 millimeter lug to lug length and a thickness that falls under 14 millimeters. As I've said with this model family, the 42 millimeter is still a pretty substantial watch. It's not a overbearing watch, but probably better suited for medium to larger size wrists. For anyone falling in the smaller end of the wrist size spectrum, the smaller Zulu Times 39 millimeter diameter, 47 millimeter lug to lug, and 13.5 millimeter thickness are likely going to be the move. I think other than the farthest of extremes and wrist sizes, you're covered across these two different models. Moving into the case finishing, both sizes present a similar strategy with circular brushing across the sloping lug tops and vertical case sides, accentuated by a slender polished bevel that breaks up the brush surfaces. The aforementioned 18 karat gold crown at three is proportionally large, engraved with the brand's winged hourglass logo and screws into the case to facilitate this model's family's 100 meters of water resistance. We have a bi-directional bezel that is also in gold, rotating with 24 index clicks to allow for tracking of a third time zone. A first for this model family, the S&G models features bezels with a topped off glossy brown ceramic insert with off-white engraved and filled indices. 
set between 22 millimeter lugs on a 42 millimeter option or 21 millimeter lugs on the 39 millimeter Zulu. This model family also does great work in the bracelet and strap departments. Starting with the bracelet, it is of a three link style with solid end links that pair brush surfaces with smaller hits of polishing on the inner surfaces of the links. The bracelets on both size variants taper, terminating with a relatively short push button deployant clasps that combine stamped and signed exterior with milled interior components while also offering several points of micro adjustment. As a note, the Zulu Time bracelet has one of the best quick release mechanisms I have used, making a bracelet to strap swap an absolute breeze. Far from an afterthought too, the leather straps are also excellent. With the SNG Zulus coming with a rugged padded brown leather strap with very sleek milled and signed push button deployant clasps that neatly hide the strap tail while also impressively integrating a micro adjustment feature that gives around one centimeter of leeway that can be easily adjusted even when on wrist. Set beneath the safety of a dome sapphire crystal coated with several layers of anti-reflective material on both sides. The dial exhibits a multi-dimensional effect owed to a raised minute track at the perimeter, further offset by a polished metallic ring where the minute track meets the dial's lowered position center. At the five minute positions, the ring is interrupted by diamond shaped cutouts with prominent applied numerals set just within. Time telling is handled with polished loom filled baton hands, complemented by a color coordinated aero style GMT hand with a gold color tip. The Super Luminova present in the dial and hands on these SNG variants comes in with more of a faux patina shade but does shine adequately in darker environments despite not being a standout. At 12, we have the Longines wordmark with the applied winged hourglass automatic text. And then at six, we have the Zulu time, five applied stars and chronometer text just below. Turning the Zulu over, we have a closed engraved case back protecting one of Longines best modern proprietary calibers. While the Zulu Time family as a whole has a lot going for it, the attribute of this collection that allowed the Zulu Time to soar to such impressive heights is the caliber L844.4. Unveiled within the 42mm Zulu Time last year, this proprietary movement is constructed within Longines' own manufacturing facility using ETA parts, and I was able to visit their facility and see this all happen firsthand. Depending on where you fall and draw the line in the game of semantics, you could absolutely refer to this movement as in-house, and it delivers on it in many ways in terms of the up specification that you're getting for the dollar amount. To start off, you're getting a 72 hour power reserve, a COSC certification, and it also includes a much desired true or traveler's GMT functionality that allows for independent adjustment of that local hour hand. For even more added value, this caliber also utilizes a silicon balance spring that should help to avoid the harmful effects of magnetic fields on timekeeping, also allowing it to really go step for step for other movements in the price category, looking at Tudor once again. In terms of general operation, 25,200 vibrations per hour, 3.5 hertz, does Feature hacking and hand winding, hacking stopping the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position, and a power reserve of 72 hours. And speaking anecdotally to timekeeping here presented by these watches, the 39 millimeter kept time at plus three to plus four seconds a day, and the 42 millimeter example even better at plus one to plus three seconds a day, both within their COSC parameters when testing across five positions. So now let's conclude with some final thoughts on these examples. Now begin with some of the cons and we'll shift into the pros. The loom absolutely is probably one of the areas here that I would bring up as first point of criticism, does not shine as well as you might want, especially for a watch that is going to lean into this aviation style. And then also I would say these watches wear relatively longer at their lug to lug slightly. It's less felt because you're dealing with less extremes with the 39 millimeter compared to the 42, but another thing to factor into the equation. Now let's shift over to some of the pros. Gold in this price range is certainly going to be a polarizing effect. It's not for everybody, but if you are looking for a steel and gold model in this price segment, you could say that this is going to kick it off as one of the best options, if not one of the most attainable options that is featuring this type of attribute. You have two sizes to choose from, which offers a wide variety of wrists to be very happy. Elevated field pilot positioning, it's a great hybrid of that everyday style. Finishing is solid on the dial, as well as the case with that long slender facet that's going down the entire case side. Dial design is multi-dimensional and very much its own. There are so many GMT watches of this aviation style that just feel like complete rehashes of somebody else's design DNA. Longines never has to lean into that element this feels very much of its own style and approach. The clasp is very well done and the bracelet as a whole is well done. Only thing you can mention here is potentially the on the fly adjustment not being there, but you are getting multiple points of micro adjustment. If you do have to have a quick size change for different parts of the year. Strap though does deliver well beyond what the competition is doing with that clasp. And then on the inside, reliable movement that goes toe to toe with 
any of the competition in the price range, COSC certified, SI balance spring on the inside. This is just one of these watches that has become in the last couple of years, a very complete collection. And one that sets the standard for around three to $5,000. We're talking about the steel variants, their value packed and where they're positioned for a true GMT watch. This offers up all the same in terms of the delivery while fusing it into a package with that steel and gold. That is more of an acquired taste, but if you are of that taste, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a model that's going to deliver it for better value. But all right guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. Also, if you are in the market for this watch, it is available on teddybaldesser.com. We're an authorized dealer for all the brands that we carry, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. And how we're able to fund all of our productions, not through the brands paying us to make the content, it is through selling watches on our site. So if you are in the market for a watch, we would absolutely love to have your business. I know you can buy a watch pretty much anywhere nowadays, uh, but it allows us to keep doing what we're doing and we love what we do. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.